Hello and welcome. I'm Rod Kirby and I'm hanging out with the one, the only Miss Timberly Hope, who is one of the cast members on Betray, Jerron Lockridge's latest film. Timberly, what's going on, girl? Hey, Rod. Hey, Timberly. <laughs> My best friend. How you doing, girl? I am so good. It's been so long since we've seen each other. Like, I feel I like we haven't it. seen each other in person since, uh, since waiting. I know. Um, so yeah, it's so good to do this. Uh, super glad when Jerron sent me the message that you were going to be reaching out to interview. I was like, ah, oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I love hanging out with you. And for those that are watching, uh, you know, Timberly is an excellent writer and director in her own right. I've had the pleasure of working with her on a short film called Waiting, and uh, you know she's super talented. So glad to have you. And I know you haven't worked with Jerron yet, have you? Other than than this project, right? This is my first okay. project, and it's been so crazy because um, I have so many friends, obviously in the industry, who have worked with Jerron, mm -hmm. and um, it's crazy because uh, a friend of mine actually was like, "Hey." Uh, Jerron's looking for somebody, and I think you might be perfect for it. So I messaged Jerron and sent in uh, sides and everything. Nice. And I was like, oh, my goodness, uh, the legend. Because uh, <laughs> we've been interviewed by the same people um, for for shows like podcasts, promoting mm. our projects, mm. all different types of stuff. And I've wanted to work with Jerron for years. So, like. When I got cast, I was like, oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> and I normally don't get nervous about stuff. I was like, oh, I'm nervous. And so, um, you know, I talked to a couple of my other friends who have worked with them. And they were like, oh, you're going to love it. Knowing yeah. you, you're going to love it. And they were absolutely correct. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I've been following uh, Jerron since uh, his earlier days uh, with his, you know, first feature films. And he's this guy is a, a machine. He's crazy, does two mm -hmm. or three films a year. For those of you that are just watching and joining us, Betray is about a bored woman who's bored with her, within her marriage. She's bored within her marriage and she's very unhappy and she fails uh, to fall against temptation against uh, someone. And her life just becomes you know, unhinged after that. Uh, I've had a chance to watch an early cut, early draft of the film. Thank you, Jerron, for sharing that with me. And it is, it's awesome, guys. It's, it's amazing. You're going to love it. I can't spoil anything. Oh You're going to God. love it. So let's take a look at a trailer for Betray. Take a look at this, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. So here is Betray. Hey. But you can judge me all you want to, but at the end of the day, you ain't got none of them problems with your man, and you still unhappy. So you really gonna act like you ain't been in Florida this whole time with a female? Love that trailer. <laughs> I fucking love that trailer. Uh, so good. It is so, oh, so good. I fucking love that trailer. Oh, you know, God. he uh Jerron always says that he he feels like he gets better um with each film. And I honestly I can say he he's getting better with each passing film. Uh Timberley, you are playing a character named Stephanie in the movie. Who is Stephanie and what's your role in this in, entire finagle, this whole thing that's going on? Stephanie is that hussy's co-worker <laughs> uh, <laughs> at the beauty shop talking to everybody <laughs> yes uh stephanie stephanie works in the stephanie is a beautician mm -hmm. and 
uh, she is friends with the main character and uh, oh lord <laughs> Stephanie is sassy and yeah. uh, and fun but uh, you know she's realistic she's been through some things yeah. um, so it gives her a different type of life view mm. uh, Steph- Stephanie's complex Mm-hmm. And so on the surface, it might just seem like just ghetto, right. um, which, you know, I've, I embrace the. There's a, there's know, a hint of that in there just a little bit, little, you know. It's a little shimmy, shimmy, yeah. a ghetto. <laughs> Got to um, keep it real. Yeah. So I really, really, I really enjoy being able to delve into uh, that part. And so I, I catch myself some days, me and Stephanie, like some stuff will happen. <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, how long? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got to pull myself. I'm Kimberly today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Stephanie is a beautician uh, who is in love, but not blindly in love. Right, right. Yeah. She's got some, she's got those antennas up. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely for, for her man, Dion. <sighs> what was it like working with uh with Jalen as as Dion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Um I spent a lot of time checking Jalen. Mm-hmm. Uh and it's it's <laughs> <laughs> uh he just always has this look like this blank dumb look on his face. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, like I spent a lot of time checking Jalen. Like that's the thing, like me being a Memphian, being from mm-hmm. North Memphis, checking is my love language. So we were just checking like all the time and saying funny stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, as serious as the movie is, yeah. we had so much fun filming. It was crazy how much fun we had filming. And like I had to keep telling myself, okay, stop playing, stop playing. <laughs> and it's crazy because even, even at the most intense scenes, like even when you think that like the the mood was heavy in the room right. or it was not that like mm. takes busting out laughing like <laughs> as soon as it's a cut how'd you prepare to uh to play stephanie i mean did you kind of delve into life experiences did you go to a, a special place that you haven't been before or a place that you have been before um so preparing for stephanie was uh one of those Things where I could just dive into myself I, as a mm-hmm. woman. Um, I we all have seen the larger um, scandals that have played out and uh, relationship drama that has played okay. out. And so, you know, if these beautiful, perfectly photoshopped and airbrushed celebrities are, you know, going through relationship stuff like. And I, I, I know I'm, you know, a wonderful mm-hmm. looking young lady. Like I'm not immune to that, right? Yeah. Women know that we're not immune. We can be the most wonderful. The, you know, if a man wants to be kept, a man wants to be kept. If he mm-hmm. wants to be at home, he gonna be at the house. If he want to be out in the streets, he gonna be for the streets. Yeah. And you know, some men just worship in the church of future. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, I, I look into myself and just dealing with those feelings and yeah. seeing how I felt during those times. Um, and um, just really going into myself and saying, okay, I grew up in North Memphis. Of course, I speak properly, but... Mm-hmm. I know how to be country and I I know how to be ghetto. Like just because I'm worldly, it doesn't mean that I am not um, a broad range or a multitude there of you things. Go. And so I tapped into that. Mm-hmm. And I don't even want to say end of the spectrum because I never want to make it seem as if um, being ghetto is like lesser. Cause that's not what mm-hmm. it is. Of course. Um,
So Stephanie being resourceful, I've been forced to be resourceful. You know, I, I'm, I'm from here. So right. I, I know what it's like to need and not have, uh, have and not need, want and not have, have and not want, like all those different combinations of things. So I just dug in myself and said, okay, um, how would Stephanie phrase these mm -hmm. things? How would Stephanie feel um, at this moment? And I really tried to tap into that. And as I tapped into it and found um, my place of meeting, because I think even when you're acting, you have to find similarities with your character, crossover, right. and dive into that. And as I did it, I let it go. And then when it came time to be on set, I, I was very intentional about being myself, having a great time, being funny, checking mm -hmm. the socks off anybody moving, like all types <laughs> of stuff. And then it was like when it was time to be Stephanie, you know, really diving back in. So it was kind of like, um, it was kind of like swimming, like yeah. jumping in a pool, doing your 50 meters or your 100 meters mm -hmm. and then hopping out until it's your next, you know, relay time. So that, that's how I treat it. Other than, um, of course, working with Jaron, uh, AKA the gorilla filmer himself. Yeah. Him, I'm a huge what, fan. I'm a huge fan as well. Uh, what, what drew you to the, the script and the story when he was casting, you saw, would you see, uh, the premise and you said, Oh my goodness, it sounds like, it sounds amazing. I mean, what drew you to the project in general? So with the project, I um, I didn't read much until I saw the sides. Um, mm -hmm. I submitted because, like I said, I had a friend who told me that I might be perfect. And so he sent me some sides. And I was like, ooh. And I was <laughs> like, huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I instantly, I Stephanie jumped off the page at me. Right. Mm. And I was just like. Oh, okay, sis. Like, I feel it. Like, I, I definitely understand. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just all the things that she had going on. Look at me working that comb. Like, I don't ever <laughs> did hair girl. a day in my life. Like, I ain't never did nobody's hair. Ever. Yeah, let, me, let me point out something, uh, everyone. I want to show y'all. This is Timberly's face on a regular. Where she's just discussing with everybody. This is just how you do it. Okay, <laughs> just done with it. Over with it. But girl, I don't care. I don't what know what's going on. About? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> shut your ass up. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's my shut your ass up face. Like there you go. Ready to snap on anybody at any time. I mean, but she you... was just talking nonsense in this scene. When y'all see this movie, whole girls like first world problems all the way. <laughs> like, girl, shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what struggle is. Man, you ain't seen the struggle. Look at her just sitting there all thin and, and gorgeous and shit. No problem. <laughs> Shut your ass up. <laughs> that was uh, Shy Smith uh, yes. playing the lead role. I uh, what's like working love with Shy? Shy. Love Shy. Um, we, it, it really felt like sisterhood. And we still text each other. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just working with her and Seeing how hard she worked and pushed through obstacles on the set, yeah. um, you know, and just when we were filming, like she, she G'd up in a major way. And I, I'm, I'm very proud of the work that she put in. I want to pause right here on, uh, on, on Jalen. This is, uh, he's playing Dion, your, your man who always needs he, a ride, always needs he, a car. He, <laughs> don't he just look dumb? He just look. <laughs> He just looking like what 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 can I <laughs> what, what can I do like he just ah oh, he just ah oh, I just I just want to wrap my hands around his throat. <laughs> oh. I mean, you li you literally want to do that in a movie too. So yeah, that's what I'm talking it. about. I'm talking about uh -huh. Stephanie, like Stephanie. You know, see, there's that face again. Hold on, let's back up. Back it up. <laughs> that face. The hell you say? That's, that's that face right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck you love that shirt about. too love that shirt yes but it is very true sarcasm mm -hmm. is one of my many talents one of your many talents and there's another yes. face one of the many faces Kimberly 
Oh, yeah. you must think I'm tripping. You must think I'm crazy. Who, who the fuck are you on. talking to? Exactly. Like, what, 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 nigga? Because <laughs> like, he said, rewind it back. I bet he looking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, See, there it is. There it is. Look like, oh, dumb. baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it, but I said it the way I said it. I'm sorry, though, baby. And I love Jalen. Jalen is so hilarious and so kind. And <laughs> <laughs> we just laugh. Like, he's hilarious. But Jalen, <laughs> you know, you be looking dumb, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I had to check him, too. We was on set. Um, Oh my God, please charge to my head and not my heart. I cannot remember his name for the life of me. Um, but he Jeremy? Yeah, Jeremy. That's Jeremy. his name. Ooh. We we got into a check and battle something. Oh Lord. Furious, <laughs> something furious. <laughs> and I checked his socks off. I had to do it. You can't you can't come for no offenses like mm -mm. that. Nope. <laughs> but he learned today. He learned today. <laughs> he learned. <laughs> oh my goodness. How long was uh uh how long did you guys shoot on on this? Um so woo, we we did a marathon. So my my shooting uh situation lasted I think like four days. Oh, so okay. we were we were in Bolivar mm -hmm. and then we were in Jackson, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we had this dope ass house in Jackson, Tennessee. And I was like Ah, I can't get used to this. <laughs> it was, my it was bag like, moving on in. <laughs> no, I had to come back and get these kids. Okay, but, right, right. <laughs> but you know, it was it was very much a, a very comfortable situation. Every time we shot, Jerron made sure that you know whatever we had and whatever mm -hmm. we needed, like he was making sure we were straight, and it, it really felt like a family situation. Mm. Um. Mr. and Mrs. Lockridge were yeah. so wonderful. They made sure that we were, you know, well taken care of and, and nice. treated well. And it was nice to be talent and just talent. Right. I don't think I've been just talent um, since, uh, probably since I shot with you. Hey, that was, that's some, some years ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't been just talent since then. I've always been in mm. some other capacity like wearing many hats as usual i have a hat wall over here to remind me <laughs> of how many hats i have <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy um yeah. but yeah so it was it was it was like a vacation mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people consider it work but i really love what i do i love every element of what i do um whether it's music whether it's you know movies whether it's mm -hmm. plays i just love it all so I really, I feel like a big kid and I get in there, I get the work done, I, I take it seriously, um, but it does not feel like clocking in a family dollar. Right. And I know because I, when I was in college, I was clocking in a family dollar. It doesn't feel <laughs> like that. It's, it's I used to work the two, actually. <laughs> Man. Ooh. Uh. Horror stories. <laughs> <laughs> We can share some stories. That's Ooh. for another time. But <laughs> that is not for this interview, but no. most definitely. I can oh talk God. about coming out forever. <laughs> Ooh. It's, it's definitely, it's not like touching the clock. And I'm very blessed to be able to do what I do. I'm mm -hmm. very blessed to be able to have the talent and to have been raised doing this. Like I've been doing this since I came out the box. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm very, very, very glad that I love what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that I got to be a part of this beautiful project, like the trade. And I haven't even seen it. Just from the trailer, you can tell. Oh yeah, it's a banger. Oh, it's, it's good. Like it's it's really good. And, I don't know uh, if you uh, saw me dancing to the song. Like I yes, watched I that trailer a million times, and like that mm -hmm. song is actually stuck. It's like an earworm it's stuck in my head now. I'll be walking around the house. Hard time, <laughs> you know. I want to shoot that hole. Like <laughs> <laughs> my new anthem around here. Don't Man, play with me, okay? okay? Don't play time. with me. Don't bring out the hard times. <laughs> Don't bring it out. <laughs> or you will get yeah. them shots. Okay? <laughs> bow, bow. No, but um, 
So yeah, I I really enjoy working with everybody. Tell me what what you're most looking forward to. Uh, of course, once the movie drops and everyone gets to see it, what are you most looking forward to everyone experiencing? I'm looking forward to everyone seeing my most serious scene. Mm -hmm. Um, Jerron told me what he wanted, and we were laughing and talking, and everybody was going around. I stepped into another room, mm -hmm. looked at myself in the mirror and worked with myself mm. um and it, it was like a matter of seconds like i went in there i looked at myself i re like i mentally repeated what he said to me mm -hmm. and i just tapped into that he was like damn <laughs> <laughs> he was like that's exactly what i asked for actually <laughs> Um, so I, you know, I, I tapped into that place and I'm, ooh, I can't wait for people to see that. I feel like, um, and I know that, like you saw it, like mm -hmm. how, how, like, I want to know, I don't want to say, no, I don't, don't say, say anything much. here, but I, I want to know, but, um, like after we get done with this, <laughs> I want to know. Like, I, well, I will say know. publicly that you definitely tapped into character and you tap into a special place because you did, <laughs> wow, you did great okay you did great I, That's I, all I'm yeah I, I tapped into a special place all That's right all I'm saying. Yeah. well well listen um everyone thank you for joining us on this quick behind the scenes look at betray timberly thank you so much for hanging out with me on today and we cannot wait for everyone to experience the rest of the film and to see it and to experience you in all your glory as stephanie as the Hood rich mama who's at the salon <laughs> with the with Dion no more. <laughs> Get my bills paid. Get your bills paid. <laughs> Let me call my man so he can pick me up. Mm. In my car. <laughs> In your car. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Rod. This is absolutely such a joy. And Betray will be out on demand. Should be on Vimeo as well as uh, misguidedperceptions.net, the website for Jerron Lockridge. And his team over there should be out early December. So check it out when it comes out. Thank you all and good night. Peace out. Sometimes I want to shoot.